Welcome again. Today we consider topic 4.3.5. Discuss and evaluate the strengths and weaknesses of the species-based approach to conservation. Tigers at the Shanghai Wild Animal Park. Just a few of an estimated 5,000 captive tigers in China. This is almost twice the population of wild tigers, which is estimated to be about 3,000. The population of captive tigers in the United States is also greater than the wild population. These giant cats are a classic example of the species-based approach to conservation. Global tiger populations have declined from over 100,000 at the turn of the 20th century to just a mere 3,000 cats. This drastic decline is due to a combination of hunting for sport, the belief that tiger bones and tissue hold medicinal properties, and of course habitat loss due to increasing human populations and increasing habitat destruction for agriculture. Such is the urgency of the situation that it prompted the first world summit aimed at a single species, the Tiger Summit, held in St. Petersburg, Russia, three years ago. At the summit, money was pledged, commitments were made, all with the goal of doubling the tiger population the next time the Chinese year of the tiger comes around in 2022. Meanwhile, zoos continue to breed tigers in captivity with great success. But another concern is the number of backyard tigers that are being kept in the United States in unsafe and substandard conditions. Some of the advantages of the species-based approach to conservation, which is a focus on a single iconic and charismatic species is that it captures public attention and makes it a guaranteed fundraiser. These funds, however, can be allocated to in-situ conservation or conservation of habitats and this in turn has the potential to benefit less appealing species. In addition, the management of issues like poaching and the enforcement of laws which plague so many conservation efforts becomes of less concern. Many wild populations of species have been decimated not due to a lack of laws but due to a lack of efficient enforcement. And here you can see just a sample to show you the extent of the massive underground industry for the trade in endangered species, despite the fact that these animals have been listed in Appendix 1 of the Convention in International Trade in Endangered Species. Some disadvantages of the species-based approach include the fact that it does not focus on habitat protection and that less appealing species that may be in more urgent need of protection are sometimes ignored. A classic case of a species that's been successfully protected by a combination of in-situ and ex-situ conservation methods is the California condor. To learn more about this case, go to this video.